I remember when I was a kid and it was a Wednesday night and one of the girls from my school came to church, her and her younger brother. And I didn't really know Shelly because, well, she was a girl, okay? But she came to church and it was just exciting to see them there. And so that night, instead of doing our regular lesson like we would on a Wednesday night, our teacher decided to take us outside. So we said a quick prayer, and then we went outside, we played kickball, and we ran, and we sweat, and we had a lot of fun. I mean, it was every boy's dream church service, right? So what I didn't know is that Shelly and her brother were in an abusive home, and that the next day, social services actually came to take them out of that home. Unfortunately, the family caught wind of it. They found out they were coming, and they skipped town. And we never saw Shelly and her brother again. I don't know what ever happened. But here's what I do know. Even as a kid, I understood that we had an opportunity to share with them about the love of Jesus. And instead we played kickball. We missed it. And I have to wonder, did that volunteer really understand the importance of why we teach a lesson in kids' ministry? I want to take just a minute today and talk about the importance of why. Why do we teach a lesson in kids' ministry? And what are some of the most important things that we can share? Now, there are people watching this video from all over the U.S. and across the world. We've got people from different denominations and backgrounds. But let me share this with you. That if you believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and if you believe in the importance of the Great Commission that we're to disciple kids, then you have a responsibility to share about the hope of Jesus every time you're together with these kids. Now, I understand the importance of parents and grandparents, that they're supposed to be invested in their kids' lives, but we are also supposed to be doing that. You see, this young development age of these children, it's so important that every opportunity we're with them, we share with them about the hope of Jesus. Yes, I believe in having fun. Yes. Yes, I believe in playing games and building relationships. Yes, I know that for some of these kids, this is the safest environment that they're ever going to be in. But I also know that we have a responsibility to share about the love, share about the hope of having that relationship with Jesus every time that we're together. So how do we do it? Well, for me, I like to start off with stories, talking about real people in the Bible who went through real situations that found out they could trust God, that God loved them and had a plan for their life, that they could have faith that if this person made it, they can make it also. I also believe in the importance of helping them to memorize God's word. So not just so that they won't sin, okay, but so that it'll help them realize the promises of God that gives them hope. The greater is he who's in me than he that's in the world, that no weapon formed against me will prosper. That God has a plan to prosper me and not to harm me, to give me a future and a hope. That he came to give me life and life abundance. But as we find out more and more about God's promises, we know that if we ask anything, he hears, he answers. God hears me. I want to encourage you today that every time you connect with kids, every time you spend time with them, that you need to be sharing about the hope of Jesus, that you need to take time to make sure that you teach a lesson. Hey, this is Pastor Tony reminding you to keep your kids' ministry fresh.